courtesy, courtesy of him too. So remember, if you have requests coming, let them come our way at uh, Y254 channel on our Facebook page, Y254 underscore channel on uh, Instagram. And uh, we have a question for you on our Facebook page. And we're asking, what is the difference between rap and hip hop? I uh, would like to hear your views, your perception. DJ Rajes, Rajes. Ulkuna sema, you know you guys mulilikazia, mulilikazia John Cena by show ma, ma Josie, but it's okay, it's all right. Tuka John Cena is a dope song. All right. Kimi ngele kakuwa kwaito, more of kwaito. It's nilikubali, nilikubali. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of her, her rapping skills are on top. Uh, so watu wakupate wapi mtandaoni? Uh, at Raji the DJ. Mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Raji mm -hmm. the DJ. Uh, Raji ni R-A-J-Y-Z. Mix SP and Mix Cloud, Raj is the DJ. All right, now, yeah. say, Basi, don't forget to send in your uh, your idea or rather what you think of uh, rap and hip hop. Is it the same thing or is it something which is different? Is uh, difference between rap and hip hop, right? Yeah. They should do that. At Y254 channel on our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can, uh, you can find me. And uh, once again, when you look at the fashion trends in the hip-hop music scene, the culture, it's quite different. Uh, every single day, new things are evolving, and uh, it's been a while that I've seen young people uh, roaming the, the hood with the funny pack. Yeah. And our guest today has one equally, and he'll be telling us uh, more about his uh, style and uh, who brought about uh, uh, this look. It goes by the name uh, none other than Clinchy Royal in the building. Yeah. Yes, Ryan, thank uh, you very much for coming through. We appreciate so introduce yourself. It's a privilege to be here actually. Mm -hmm. So I go by the name of Clinchy Royal in all social media handles as was an get at Clinchy Royal. I'm a hip hop urban artist. I believe Manzevin the right person to take Kenyan music to the next level. The right yeah. person to take the Kenyan music to another level. And speaking about fashion trends, uh, we saw uh, Octopizo uh, during one of the shows uh, uh, in on TV station. Uh, he has a very unique style hairdo, and uh, it was cornrows and a hair extension. And people were focusing much on what he had going on on, on his head, uh, apart from just the fact that he has a new jam coming out, Kanye. So fashion trends in uh, hip hop scene, it's quite evolving every single day. Now, Okto Nulem say he doesn't really care about what people say. And um, on that note, let's find out the three basic things you can't uh, leave Nyumbani Bila as a uh, clingy on your funny pack. Okay. <laughs> so it's a full bag actually because I need label Adidas. All right. The three things is the achamta. No one else ever told me the same. Ah, what tabu? Oh, you. Kamu leza tu nyeshi di way better. Tu anze. So the first thing actually mm -hmm. is my wallet. Okay. Because man, you love my wallet, Joe. Uh, and na pia date ni za jipa during the date na ulaz during the day na lazima chums. So wallet okay. is my first thing. All right. The second thing is my key, keys to my house. Keys to the house. Yeah. Keys to the. Mm -hmm. Another thing, when they say this, ah, so, me if I'm going to be doing it out there, you don't know. Eh, uh, pull they, up, pull they, up. I can't leave my house without a copy. You do. Because uh, like, uh, clean sheet. Do you tell us you work with your albums, twenty-four-seven in the streets? Mm. So Am I in, in because you're coming to you know? Even if I don't have the hard copy, uh -huh. I have the soft copies with me. <laughs> Something yeah. else? Mm. Oh, that's the three. Okay. You will give me three. Wallet, key, keys. The last thing. Umisamata album you carry phone. soft copy. Oh, your phone, very yeah, important. I can't leave my phone. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's a, uh, there's a, there's always a perception, or I would like to call it stereotyping of the hip hop music. Uh, yeah. uh, in the the culture, people tend to associate hip hop music with aggressiveness and gang violence. What are the some of uh, stereotype comments you've heard about the hip hop hip hop music scene? So okay. Men the mentality of everyone out there, mm -hmm. if you are a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. you're from a particular gang, or any gangster, as in you steal, you rob people, because you see us as hip hop artists, mm -hmm. we are the voice of the ghettos. Okay. So, can you know, happen to a hood? Like, me don't may honor. Mm -hmm. And there are some people out there, they don't have the talent to express, the I express with my music. So, as much as you can hear, some less lyrics, lyrics name tell bit to bad, gang violence, 
police brutality, drugs. To be honest, these are things that happen. Yes. And if we don't talk about them, exactly. And that's so, why they say yeah. uh, an artist is the mirror to the society. True that. Sanini kio la jamii. Yeah. Okay. So stereotype means I get. Wasana se mami ni gangster. I'm a any drug dealer because wasaki skia lyrics. But to be honest, I'm just I'm I'm that sweet guy. Tuza kachini tu bonge. Tuza reason. Yeah. I'm a changed guy actually, but if you hear my music, let's make it true mm -hmm. to my culture, where I'm from. So in case of police brutality, because I've you gone through that. You have to address that. it. Yeah, I've gone yes. through that harassment. This is because of the ones they. So how did your parents uh, yeah. take uh, uh, take the whole idea of you taking music as a career, and uh, especially doing hip hop music, whereby parents. it has different perception from people out there? So let me say this: actually, I'm an orphan. I don't have parents. Okay. So. Apologies to that, but anyway, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe. I understand. Yeah. So me not having You're parents mm -hmm. gave me that ambition to that without this music, this end of the only thing it can talk or in general, if I can go hard. But when you a big up my parent, it's my big sis. All right. Yeah, many support from way shout back. out to you, sis. Yeah, shout out Manze Vesh. Salute mm -hmm. Manze, I love you so much. And mm -hmm. So all in all I'm a quick show support. No, but which is a good thing first, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Like me from way back, eh, like she asked me, eh, when I talk one in can be make my mind, mm -hmm. eh, I want to be a rapper. So at first, you know, you all know how Kenyan parents, guardian, law, and yes, acting yeah. you can be on a day a rapper. They always ask, and then what else are you going to do apart from yeah. music? Yeah, this was at first, true. maybe it was negative, but I had to prove her that mm -hmm. it was worth it. But with time, I'll have to support. Even when I went to college, mm -hmm. Ali allowed me to study my passion because I'm also a filmmaker and I'm a video editor. I'm yes, a graduate. Because uh, you've already, you've already uh, <laughs> jumped into that. I've seen oh, your. Sorry, <laughs> no, sorry. it's okay. Yeah. I've seen your jam, uh, Jeshila Dago, uh, from uh, last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, so Jeshila Dago, and then also so it incorporated other artists who were yeah, actually featured. That's my crew. All right. And I saw in the credits, you they highlighted you, one of your uh, editors. So you have other skills apart from just uh, being an artist. And uh, probably should mention some of them. And let's talk about uh, Jeshila Dago. Okay. Jeshila Dago. So let's start from the song itself. Jeshila Dago, it's a jump from my album, The Rise Up. You mm -hmm. can get it at Boomplay, my MOOC. So. Since I have these skills, na nilikuwa na resources, nilikuwa na link ya studio, then mm -hmm. nikawa na manze, these are my boys or cohood, mm -hmm. and they are also talented as I am. Mm -hmm. So nikiwa bring to light, to grow a moja, yeah. ita kwa kitu positive. Right. So actually, they are, uh, they are my crew. They know me from way back, even because right. kwa kid, si kwa anything, manze, si kwa mm -hmm. clean chin, kwa hood, na hustle. Mm -hmm. Na pia bro yangu mbigi ya kwa hapo. So mi nimementa even my big bro, anetuwa uluvi. Mm -hmm. And actually, he's a coach in East Africa Got Talent. Mm -hmm. Kuriya came a pass. Uh, mm -hmm. dramas. Shout mm -hmm. out to Luvi, Sinclair, Duji, Mwaki. Shout out to all of them. Time enormous. So, <laughs> so let's look at. Um, so, Jeshila Dagu Katoka, although representing your hood. My hood, yeah. And then now, what was the next, because uh, this was a mixtape. Was it part of the mixtape, or this was now the EP? Oh, Jeshila Dagu is from my, my e joint album. Joint album. Yeah, after my, so I started with that. Maybe I can. Because you have the Royal Highness, which yeah, is your mixtape. so I started mixtape. out with a mixtape yes. called Royal Highness. Then we so had to. So, I Lili Record Project Yote by myself, Niki Wakole. All right. Then Kenya tu nilipatia, nilipatia producer a mix. Mm -hmm. So I did everything from recording, leo na record, <coughs> na booth, na record, aligning the whole project. Mm -hmm. Then my producer Ali did, Ali do only the edit, the mixing part. Okay. But me do the, the whole thing. Then so that was a way of introducing yourself into yeah, the game yeah. through your mixtape. Then let's move to your now your EP, which is uh, Formula Success. Yeah. So after then my mixtape, I went to Formula Success. All right. I recorded it at Supersonic Africa, where they host Cox Studio. Mm -hmm. Actually, I took advantage because I was an intern there. So, me being around this big studio, and I'm talented, Manze single let opportunity pass. So, I was left alone in studio, 
I recorded myself nine tracks. Mm -hmm. I can say this is one of my professional projects. If you hear ukisikia mm -hmm. sound, manze quality iko on another level. Mm -hmm. So this my second project ndo ilini ilini pe limelight because mm -hmm. unaweza angalia track kama mkwanja Mm -hmm. a video up on YouTube from Formula Success. Yes, guys, should check it uh, out. Yeah. Royal Highness, yeah. Royal Highness, no, in part your platform, cause it's gonna go to a dreamer. Yeah. Then after that, then we jump. And speaking rest. about dreamer, and now we have a single which is out for in two weeks, known as My Way. Yeah. There's one thing that is cutting across, which is uh, your love for music and uh, the fact that you're looking for success out of it. Yeah. And I believe there are challenges as an artist, and you've been into the game since 2016. That's a long period of time compared to someone who's just starting off. How do you ensure you stay sane and be focused uh, as you hit the studio to re release another song or even an album as you speak of which you're promoting right now? So what I can say, it's mm -hmm. all about consistency. Consistency, right. Yeah. And being consistent on our work daily, because if you drop one project and relax at the end, mm -hmm. they have a project. No, you must keep on working and working. Mm -hmm. And you know, make a mentality. Even right now, mm -hmm. a new EP. Mm -hmm. Since I have a new project mm -hmm. available in the digital platform, I can mm -hmm. just relax. So I always strive to be better. Because mm -hmm. may believe I haven't reached my destiny. I'm Definitely. Just yes. yeah. So this is just a foundation. And I want it to be firm, a strong foundation. So for you, you it's all about consistency, regardless of how you feel. Because not every day you feel like, yeah. no, I'm so sure, Rajis, it's not like every day you feel like showing up to every gig because you have also personal issues. So how do you even handle that for you? Because uh, we have different challenges, yeah. The could disappoint the client. Okay. So you just put yourself together, you just show up. So you have to show up regardless yeah. of how you're feeling because yeah, you success is all about just uh, showing up and consistency as you have actually put it. So you spoke about uh, the... You don't know as uh, as the the album that you're promoting right now, and yeah. it's the first single on your album. Yes. You spoke of it as the best project that you ever done. Why would you say that? Why? So what is different between uh, uh, now you know, or is it you don't know? You don't know. You don't know, and yeah, uh, the previous one, is, which is Rise Up. In Formula Success. Yeah. So what is different with this album? First of all, I can say this is my best project mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. because you may invest a lot on it. Mm -hmm. I've paid for every track, so I own the whole project. I couldn't say anything to Kongo in Jesse. This share is mine. All right. So, me and the executive producers in our own project, Yote, because we may be everything from producer and studio. Then, I can say, I may go hard because mm -hmm. I've managed to balance, apart from music. All right. I also work. I work with Nokia Company. Okay. So, I manage time and my career because mm -hmm. I was coming out of work at five, mm -hmm. then in the studio, mm -hmm. na record project the whole night. So he project is recording three days. In three days? Or yeah. What? After working for, let's say, one year, we okay. keep plan. What, what would you say, um, is it easy for an artist to have a couple of so many singles and then you just uh, compile them as an album or would you, how does it work for you? Do, you? do you have a couple of singles that you're yet to release or do you go with your time whereby I feel like this is the right time I'm supposed to release an album so I'm going to do it right now or is this something that you've been, do or you've been doing uh, previous years or previous months and then you just decide I'm going to pick this one and that one in my compilation for an album? So speaking on my side, Actually, I have a lot of tracks that are released. Okay. So, as an so you work prior. You yeah. have a list of... Okay. So, la, me, I always make sure that the track is released, I mm have -hmm. to accept mm -hmm. So if I feel, I have a track that I feel. If I don't feel it, mm -hmm. I'll not drop it. Okay. So, tracks that I select in my every project, I mm -hmm. do my rehearse, everything I record. Mm -hmm. Then I sit down and decide, man. Eh? Then this will be track number one, track mm. number two. Then I compile them. Then you can choose the other way. Can you mesema? Okay. Unaza kuna record constantly, constantly in years. Then after, for those, those period of years, can you make record? Una compile the whole project, okay. those singles. Mm. Then una drop car album. All right. As we wind yeah. up, are you signed under any label? Because I've seen BNG Media yeah. in most of your projects. And uh, like, uh, there's this one I've forgotten, but... Um, uh, they've been in Dreamer also. I've, I've okay. seen them on um, My Way. Yeah. 
yeah. and a couple of others, so many of them I've seen uh, BNG label. Are you signed under them or how, how did you guys uh, okay, work me, it out? Let me give you this story. So <laughs> There's a story behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's summarize the story. Summary can also be sweet. It's yes. uh, simple. Yes. So big shout out to my producer Network Clue. Shout so, out to you, Clue. Clue Manze Big Up. So we met with Clue back in college. Okay. Then only mix my first project, mm -hmm. Royal Linus. Mm -hmm. So me and work now one producer all the way. All the way. Until this project in work now a new producer. Mm -hmm. So Neza Sema even if Ukiangaliata mm Mseka -hmm. Kendrick, I don't know so my work na producer more, the producer can it was Ali. So me as an artist nearly to identify only producer na just sound yango. To grow up a more since those four projects. Mm -hmm. Then after clearing college, Tuka decided to join up. Mm -hmm. Then we open up that studio. Mm -hmm. I can say it's a partnership. So, but me, I'm not signed to any label. Neza okay. some mini independent artist. Neza work with anyone. There it is. So speaking about working with anyone, do you have any intention to collaborate? And uh, if yes, which particular artist would you like to work with? Mm. Whether I can work with other artists, and I believe kila msi ya kona art yake so ni kona room kwa kuna any other artist mm -hmm. msenaza dai kwa kuna actually nime work na Huda Avenue kuna track company to get superstars unaweza check so in Kenya artists naweza dai kwa kuna mm. just mention two two yeah two artists that's just let me mention two wenye inspire all right Okutona kali, ya siya meni jenga, kwa zo meni shawami, kuna zato kahudu na urais. Yes, izo ni jina kubwa sana, Okutona yeah. Kali Graf, and they're actually doing well uh, into the industry. Kali Katel is coming up by Kali Graf Jones, and then we have uh, Octopizo releasing new jam known as Kanye. You give us your social media handle so that people back at home can keep up with what you're doing, uh, your new music, singles out, more of albums, because you are someone who actually releasing album after albums. So give us your social media handles and now they can get back to you. So, tani pata po social media, kila maali, YouTube at Clinchy Royal, Facebook Clinchy Royal, Twitter Clinchy Royal, I mean everywhere Clinchy Royal. So, yo jina msisa uko zising. Manze, akuna <laughs> kubwa ilo. Akuna kituna fake, manze. Yes. Mean, mean go true to this. Yeah, and you speak, you actually your music speaks about... Um, social issues that every youth is going through yeah. employment uh, success and love of art so make sure guys you follow uh clinchy roll across all of his social media handles he has some good music for you all from albums eps why would you want to miss that he has as simple as clinchy roll at michelle sure. ashira is where you can get me across all my social media platforms i remember we had asked we're still asking on our facebook page uh we have a, po a poster out there on our writing wall which is we are asking the difference between rap and hip hop music. And some of your comments are coming through. We have hard drugs, hard drugs, hard drugs, hard drugs. Uh, Nasema Kwamba rap is more about the poetry of words and word style, while hip hop is more about the music bit. I don't know what you think about that, but thank you very much, hard drugs. And then we have Kamau Robert and Nasema Big Up Clinchy, my classmate from high school. Hey, uh, hey, Kamau Robert. <laughs> so, hey, was it, first of all, yes. I'm a fan me as an artist, they kuwa nata kuwa humble as much as na hustle nini. Like yeah. Like kuwa humble, okay. nito na ismali ni metoka. Mm -hmm. Shout That's out true. wase wate wa high school and support, wase wa, wase wate wa hood. Yeah, all the way from my school. Yeah, that's a real that's a real friend there. And some come your music is dope, is appreciating your art. Then you have Salim Salim Dollar Boy. And I'm watching from Mombasa show you Komoto Sana. Uh, shout out to you, Salim for me. Say. Then uh, we have Kerinyaga County is very much locked. We have uh, Kagio Town well represented. Show Iko Lead Sana play for me one thing one thing by Why Kwavu Kwavu. One thing. Oh. Why so, okay. <laughs> Coming your way. Remember the hashtag to use is hashtag why in the morning, hashtag hip hop Thursday, why254 across our social media platforms. And then you have another one from Nancy in Jagel. They from Mombasa Tena. I'm a Sema Kwamba uh, represented. All right. Then we have, um, there are so many, so I'll just um, finish up with Skip Khalifa and the rest shall be. Um, Mentioned by the other, by Barry Moore and, and Karen. We have uh, Skip Khalifa saying, Yo, DJ the bro playing more Calligraph Jones, the king hip hop bro. Okay, we need to share Calligraph Jones. Nisawa Skip Khalifa, it'll come through. Then we have Kong David. 
wa Unite Hip Hop. So niko ndani ya mchuzi. Huyu Kong David ako ndani ya mchuzi mchuzi ambao umeandaliwa na none other than uh, DJ Raji. So make sure you stay tuned and please let your comments come through from what we are asking which is what is the difference between rap and hip hop music and you have if you have any requests that you like DJ uh, Raji to play for you all you have to do is head out to our social media handles that is uh, Y254 channel on our Facebook page and uh, send in your request at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me and uh, I would equally be glad if you reach out to me yes DMs are very much welcomed uh, make sure you stay tuned DJ Rajas got you covered on the wheelist of good music right now we're going to hear from uh, Clinchy Royal and uh, he'll be representing on this ground of ours so let's hear what he has for us Yes, I'm looking forward to Dreamer, but anyway, whatever jam is going to drop buzz on, I'm so down to it and I'm getting ready to listen to his good music. So, DJ Rajas, let's do this. Okay. 